Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're gonna completely rebrand the entire production pipeline of the book review playlist. So, instead of me reading the book and review the content like what we did before, starting from this video, we're gonna introduce my virtual assistant, Ava, to help me go through some of the chapters and do a book review together. So with that being said, let's introduce Ava. Hi everyone. I am Ava. The name was given by Mr. Yi Chiaoyin as a short name for another virtual assistant. I'm here to review books for you. Thank you, Ava. That's great. So, today we're going to be talking about applied machine learning and high performance computing on AWS. Ava, why don't we start with high performance computing? What is that exactly? Can you give us an introduction? High performance computing, HPC, refers to the use of supercomputers and parallel processing techniques to solve complex computational problems in a shorter amount of time compared to conventional computers. HPC systems are designed to handle a large amount of data and perform billions of calculations per second, making them ideal for applications such as scientific simulations, data analytics, and machine learning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a lot of information. Why don't we start with your MO, right? Why do people want to do this? Is it because speed? Is it because easiness of collaboration? I can think of all the reasons. Why don't you give us like four to five different reasons that you could think of why people need to do HPC? There are several reasons why we need high performance computing. Complex problems. Many scientific and engineering problems are simply too complex to be solved by conventional computers in a reasonable amount of time. HPC systems are designed to handle massive amounts of data and perform billions of calculations per second, making them well-suited for tackling these complex problems. Speed, HPC systems can perform calculations much faster than conventional computers, which can be critical in many applications such as weather forecasting, climate modeling, and financial simulations, where time is of the essence. Data-intensive applications, with the increasing amount of data generated by scientific experiments, simulations, and real-world observations, HPC systems are essential for processing, analyzing, and visualizing large amounts of data in a timely manner. Innovation, HPC enables researchers and scientists to test new ideas and theories, and to explore new frontiers in fields such as physics, chemistry, biology, and medicine. HPC is also crucial for advancing technologies such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, and robotics. Collaboration HPC systems allow for collaboration among researchers from different institutions and countries, enabling them to share data, resources, and expertise. This leads to more efficient use of resources and faster progress in scientific and engineering research. Thank you, Ava, for all those amazing reasons. It really gets me pumped up to do more high-performance computing. So now, what about the authors and the contributors? Every book, I give a short summary of their story. Can you tell us more about the authors? The contributors of the title is from Amazon Web Services. Last I check, you are a loyal client of AWS. <laughs> That's a good joke. I am. Mani Kanuja is a seasoned IT professional with over 17 years of software engineering experience. She has successfully led machine learning and artificial intelligence projects in various domains, such as forecasting, computer vision, and natural language processing. At AWS, she helps customers to build, train, and deploy large machine learning models at scale. She also specializes in data preparation, distributed model training, performance optimization, machine learning at the edge, and automating the complete machine learning lifecycle to build repeatable and scalable applications. Next, we have Farouk. Farouk Sabir is a research and development expert in machine learning, data science, big data, predictive analytics, computer vision, and image and video processing. He has over 10 years of professional experience. Shreyas Subramanian helps AWS customers build large-scale machine learning and deep learning models and re-architect solutions to help improve the security, scalability of machine learning platforms. He also specializes in setting up massively parallel distributed training, hyperparameter optimization, and reinforcement learning solutions, 
and provides reusable architecture templates to solve AI and optimization use cases. Ava, don't we have four authors? Who's the last author of this title? Yes, the last author is Tronter. Trenton Potjayader is an expert technologist with 25 years of both local and international experience. Across multiple aspects of an organization, from IT to sales, engineering, and consulting, on the cloud and on-premises. He has a proven ability to analyze, assess, recommend, and design appropriate solutions that meet key business criteria, as well as present and teach them from engineering to executive levels. Trenton sounds familiar. Have I reviewed his book before? Yes, you have reviewed his book before. Searching your database now. Result found and the link is provided for you in the video. What do you want to know about this book? Oh my gosh, there's so many things I want to know about this book. Why don't we start with AWS DataSync? I heard that's a famous service that people have been using these days. AWS DataSync is a fully managed data transfer service that makes it easy and fast to move data between on-premises storage systems and AWS cloud storage services. With AWS DataSync, you can automate and accelerate data transfers over the network and securely move large amounts of data to and from AWS storage services such as Amazon S3, Amazon EFS, and Amazon FSx for Windows File Server. You look puzzled. What do you not understand? I'm confused. What does it simplify exactly? Like, what does it do? AWS DataSync simplifies the process of moving and synchronizing large amounts of data between on-premises storage and cloud storage by providing a user-friendly interface that allows you to create and manage data transfer tasks. You can set up the transfer tasks to run on a schedule or initiate them manually, and you can monitor the progress of the transfer using AWS CloudWatch or the AWS DataSync console. AWS DataSync uses advanced network protocols and optimization techniques to transfer data quickly and efficiently, while also providing features such as encryption, compression, and validation to ensure data integrity and security. Additionally, AWS DataSync integrates with other AWS services such as AWS Identity and Access Management IAM, and AWS Key Management Service KMS, which allows you to control access to your data and manage encryption keys. Okay, Ava, one last thing I want to ask is the AWS Parallel Cluster. Can you tell us more about that? AWS Parallel Cluster is an open-source cluster management tool that simplifies the deployment and management of high-performance computing HPC, clusters in the AWS cloud. With AWS Parallel Cluster, you can easily create and manage clusters of virtual machines VMs, that can be used for a wide range of HPC workloads, such as scientific simulations, machine learning training, and data processing. AWS Parallel Cluster supports a variety of cluster configurations, from small clusters for testing and development to large, high-performance clusters for production workloads. You can choose from a range of pre-configured software packages and tools, including popular HPC applications such as OpenMPI, Intel MPI, and TensorFlow, or you can customize your cluster with your own software packages and scripts. AWS Parallel Cluster makes it easy to configure and manage your cluster using a simple command line interface or a web-based management console. You can use the console to create, launch, and terminate clusters, and you can monitor the status of your cluster and its instances using Amazon CloudWatch. Ooh, that's a lot of information and quite confusing. Can you tell me more about the CLI or command line interface so that I can easily use this thing and interact with it? Yes, AWS Parallel Cluster provides a command line interface, CLI, that allows you to create, configure, and manage your HPC clusters using a set of simple commands. The CLI is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux operating systems, and it can be used from a local computer or an EC2 instance. That's great. You're going to have to show me the code later. Sure thing. I'll show you what to type in the computer offline. Thanks, everyone. See you next time. So there you go. Thanks, Ava, for giving us a wonderful introduction and a solid book review. Of course, we can't really go through all of the materials in this book in less than 10 minutes. There's so many other topics I want to share with you guys, and I'm sure 
Ava will want to give you guys a more solid introduction as well. But think about it. This book really covers a lot of things. Genomics, autonomous vehicle, numerical optimization, and so on and so forth. All of these things require high-level computing machine. And guess what? AWS is able to provide all of the service for you. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this new pipeline. Hope you like the video. And hopefully you like the concepts of using Ava as a book reviewer. With that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.